another overgrown path. Day number three, and we are just leaving Jagat. We spent the night there, we ate breakfast. It was 1,000 rupees, which is the most we've ever spent on a meal here for their set breakfast. And I, we probably won't do it again. It was just uh, one plain omelet, a few potatoes, a toast, uh, muesli and porridge and a coffee, which sounds like a lot, but it was actually not that big of a breakfast and it was definitely the most expensive thing on the menu. Uh, we're just leaving here. There's Jagat over there. And if you stay here, there's a guest house right there with amazing views of this big, beautiful waterfall. So I would recommend maybe walking through the town a little bit. We were so tired, we just spent the night at the first uh, the first guest house that we, we came across. So I think from now on, we're just gonna kind of do a little bit of of looking around before we decide where to stay. Namaste, good morning. <laughs> no, no money. <laughs> No, no sweets. Money? <laughs> so the kids here will <laughs> ask for money and sweets, but you're not supposed to give them any because if you do, uh, then it's likely that they will just beg for money and sweets from tourists instead of going to school. So that's what the tourism board says. So no money or sweets for the kids, no matter how cute they are, because <laughs> it's kind of hard to say no to the kids. There's that same waterfall. And we're gonna be following this river down here to the fields of marijuana, which is growing everywhere here. Um, and yeah, I think we have about eight miles today, which is a couple miles less than we had to do yesterday. Uh, I think we walked for something like 14 miles yesterday, so it should be an easier day. Uh, yeah, so enjoy this part of the journey with us. We've just taken another overgrown path that said it was the main trail, so painted white and red. Uh, but the path is overgrown again and we are slightly weary, wary <laughs> of taking uh, these overgrown paths, but this one looks like it's been cleared a little bit more recently. As you can see, it's just a stone staircase cut into the side of the rock here. So we're just gonna follow this and no matter what it is, it's almost nicer than walking on the road, which is what we would be doing otherwise. So yeah, maybe 10 minutes outside of Jagat, we have this stone staircase. These trails that are marked as the main trail but are a little bit overgrown. I think the overgrownness is a good sign because we were walking along these stone steps and they look like they've been cleared, but uh, here's where we are now and just a little bit back that way. Um, the path became pretty much uncrossable. It was just kind of shoulder high plants. And yeah, after yesterday, uh, maybe we are gonna avoid the bushwhacking. I think my blisters are pretty much all the way gone, but my left arm was just totally covered with blisters and Kailani's arm also got just, maybe the size of just this big was totally wrinkled and, and blistered up, so not worth the risk. It was itchy all night and painful. So we're just gonna hop back onto the road and see if we can go on the road more traveled on this one.
is so much more vibrant and there's like actually an arrow you can go you walk up these stone steps here and it just continues up this way but the way that we're going is across these little wooden bridges across this gorgeous waterfall so we're finally back on the right trail We just finished climbing up maybe 2,000 stone stairs coming down from that way and we've just stumbled across a soccer field. Too bad we didn't bring our ball, but maybe next time. show you how this road is just cut into the side of the mountain. Here we are. And that's what it's like above us. It's just cut out of this solid rock right out of the mountain. And on the side, there's just a sheer drop off into this river area. And you can tell there's a big landslide or a flood or something over there. And that trail here is where we are meant to be walking, but it's totally blocked off right now. And they said it happened uh, just a few weeks ago. So we had a little bit of a detour, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you how amazing these road systems are that they've created. I mean, it must have been a massive undertaking to cut these roads and I'm sure it's just like a nightmare maintaining all of them. So, pretty cool.
Hey guys, shameless plug here. I actually wrote a guidebook for the Annapurna circuit so that you can do it with no guide just like we did. It's a one-stop shop full of all the information that you're gonna need. So check it out, link's in the bio. It's only five bucks. Thanks a lot, let's get back to the video. Good morning, it is our third day of being on the trail today. Uh, and we are just waking up in the village of Dagpani. This, I am in my room right now. And here is our view out the window and there's just the biggest spider I've ever seen in a web right there. But every morning it's like, you just look outside, you're so lucky that you get to wake up in a place like this. It's like almost unreal. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're just gonna go down to breakfast. We're doing a really simple breakfast this morning, just uh, omelet with, I think just omelet with bread and coffee. So something easy. I think we have an easier day today. We might break up today into two days uh, just cause we're feeling a little bit tired and we're just gonna let our bodies, you know, get used to the, the long days of hiking. So we'll see. Um, how far we can make it today and really we're in no rush so we're just gonna play by ear and stop for lunch and see if it's uh you know see if it's time to just stop for the rest of the day but uh, let's go outside it is 7 30 in the morning and we are just leaving the town of darapani which you can see behind us here uh it's a cold start to the day it really feels like we're beginning our our journey into the uh, the higher elevations I think we have quite a big gain in elevation today I'll put it on the screen um, let's see you can see here we're still in kind of this bamboo tropical area but if you look over there in the distance I don't know if you can make it out but that is all pine trees and we're going into uh, more alpine terrain today and tomorrow so there's a cold wind blowing out from those mountains and uh, yeah we've just finished breakfast our set breakfast cost 600 rupees it came with Tibetan bread egg uh, coffee and porridge so it was a really good deal we paid 400 less for it than we did yesterday uh, and it was delicious everything was just seasoned perfectly uh, and I feel like we're gonna have a lot more energy today walking around. So we are going from Darapani this morning and we are gonna be stopping at Tamang for lunch, deciding if we wanna continue. Uh, and if we do, then we'll be going to Chame. I think it's around uh, eight mile hike. So it shouldn't take too, too long, but uh, you know, it's slow going here. I think we have a long, and a kind of a hard ascent where we're gonna gain most of our elevation today. And then that's gonna be getting up off of the road and then it just flattens out. So yeah, I hope you enjoy today's hike and uh, thanks for sticking around and giving it a watch. We just went through our first tourist check post. It was maybe a five minute walk from Darapani. It's the first one that we have seen, although I think there are others before where we started. It was really easy to miss, but the guy uh, came out and shouted for us to stop. So uh, the whole thing took maybe five minutes and they just stamped our uh, Tim's cards and gave us the rest and now we're back on the trail. Five more minutes from that first uh, tourist checkpoint. We decided to take the blue and white trail to get off of the road. That's what this trail looks like. And apparently there was a signpost down there that said we were gonna get views of Annapurna 2 and Manaslu at the top for a 30 minute detour. Uh, it's just, there's the road down there. And now we're just gonna be going up and up and up these stone stairs to the top and hopefully it just goes straight down uh, and we don't have to come back but I'll keep you posted.
made it up to the top of this uh, long stone staircase uh, to a village of Odar. And this is the top view from the village. You can see our first glimpses of the Annapurnas over there. And Manaslu is over here. So um, the sign said that we were going to be, it was a 30 minute uh, walk. However, that is just one way <laughs> because we have to go back down the same way. So we've, we've been starting all of these days off just by going on the longest, just uphill trails that we have to go back down eventually. But I think it was well worth it. It's really beautiful. Maybe not if you're on a budget. That was probably one of the hardest climbs we've done on this trek so far. It was probably like a couple of thousand steps. So. Um, do it at your own risk, but really this little village here is so, so beautiful. They're all it's all corn that they're growing here, and you can see it's strung up in some of the buildings down there, and there's a big warehouse full of it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, really beautiful up here, so I'm, I'm happy we did it. Uh, and now we have to start the descent back to the main trail. <laughs> So thank God we were wrong. You actually can go up and down and around. So I think that if you're coming this way, it's definitely, definitely worth the trip up. just come out of the village and the path out of the village is just made out of these stones that they've just piled and packed. God, it must be thousands of stones going back to that village. completely changed today and now we're walking among big pine trees and the famous Nepali apple orchards which are behind these stone walls and <laughs> barbed wire fences because probably of trekkers like us just pinching a couple apples on the trail but it's getting colder and colder and here are those stinging nettles that have been getting Kailani and I pretty much every day so now we know what to look out for. We just stopped for a little snack break and we picked up these good bite orange biscuits. Great taste. Great satisfaction. Let's see how they actually taste. These were 100 rupees for the lot. I got half a biscuit. Mmm. Really sweet. And they taste just like oranges. So, highly recommend. If you're looking for something that's not as sugary as a Snickers bar for a a mid-afternoon snack. We're just passing the marker that marks the end of our walk on this busy road today. If you see this waterfall, you have not a lot of ways to go. 
because we're gonna be going off the road here and up more of these stone steps and continuing our trek that way. hiking in the jungle-ish terrain, but we have big, beautiful snow-capped mountains peeking at us through these trees. I don't know if you can tell, but we are just getting absolutely molested by gnats and flies. I feel like I can't take a breath without one going into my mouth or my nose. So it's hard enough to find your breath up here, but these little buggers are making it pretty tough. Walking into Tamang. We're still deciding if we're gonna stay here for the night, but I think we might because behind me in the distance over there is Manislu, and you can just see it so clearly. And it's such a beautiful, crisp autumn day that I think we might just grab ourselves some famous fresh apple pies and just hang out here for the rest of the day. So. I will see you at lunch and show you the different treats that we decide to get for ourselves today. Just finished lunch in Tamang. Maybe two more hours of trekking until Chame with Manaslu to our right for the last hour. So, really beautiful day, and it's nice and cool now. We've decided to push through, so, see you guys in Chame. I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of the room in Chame. We got four walls. We got electricity and lights, charging stations, hot shower. We got a bed and another bed. And that's it. It is really, really cute. And we have a window that overlooks the balcony to the guest house in the street downstairs. So all in all, super, super cozy. I'm really happy with where we're staying. Um, it's not quite in the main part of Chavi, but it's a little bit more. So maybe if you're coming here, I would recommend going a little bit further. Having dinner in Chavi, we got veg fried momos. And look at that. They're tiny, but they're really crispy and fried really, really well. I think they're just deep fried momos. And it comes with the ketchup. Everything comes with ketchup. Um, but there's also a really good green chili sauce that we have here. So this is our first course, and Dalt Bot is to come. Okay, and the Dalt Bot, this one looks good. We got Papa Dom. Let me just flip you around. We have dal, cabbage, potatoes, and rice and Papa Dom. And Mike everywhere. It's all you can eat. Um, all of it. Except for the papadon, unfortunately. <laughs> Otherwise, I would just get papadon. <laughs> papadon, papadon, papadon. Alright. Well, dinner in Chamin, and hopefully a nice, easy hike tomorrow, and this is going to keep us nice and fueled up.